Coop here with Tom Deacon. Are you well? We're at Leeds Festival. You're emceeing. Tell us how it's going. Afternoon to you, Holly. Uh, I'm very well, <laughs> thank you. I am emceeing uh, the Comedy Centre, as you said. It's actually called the Alternative Stage, mm-hmm. and it's very alternative so far. Uh, I've been on, which is your first thing, and then Terry Alderton went on, and now Sarah Pascoe's on. So yeah, so far, so good. Mm-hmm. And we're in the green room, which feels very fancy. There's Yeah, it, I am, we are in the green room. Can I just uh, state that I, I normally just emcee or I do a slot, but on this occasion, this year at the Leeds and Reading Festival, I was at Reading yesterday, I am now being given an extra job which is to host the green room. I don't know what that means, but it says on my name, above my name it says, hosted by Tom Deacon. So, but I came in here, and I'm not going to lie, but some people were stealing apples and pastries without, <laughs> without asking for permission. So I'm a little bit angry. I feel like I've let people down. Well, do you know what? It's the, the job never stops, does it? You, you, know you come off stage and you're still hosting. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Deacon, are you ready to trivial pursuit yourself? Yes, I am. You've been rolling been, that dice since the interview started. So. In my hand, yeah. I've been told about other comedians who've thrown the dice, apparently. <laughs> Got a bit too frivolous with it. Um, yes. All right, I'm ready. Uh, go. It's going to go over the pastry that's been eaten here. Um, here we go. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Green. That is science and nature. Oh, perfect. My specialist subject. Nah. <laughs> if your comedy style was an animal, which animal would it be? That is probably the best question I have ever been asked. And like a politician, what I will do now is discuss other things until I <laughs> think of a good answer uh, for that. To describe my... Do you know Like a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how I'm going with that. Because it, I'm quite... Not, not that I'm small, like I'm average <laughs> height, but when I'm on stage, I um, like to gather things on the stage. I like to have a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um thinking nut based jokes now uh, well, but I've, I've got nothing but no I like to be kind of like you know how they bounce on a lawn and they irritate some people but other people love them mm. and I'm like that <laughs> well I'm starting to wonder there is no nuts available on the uh, on the green room table so have they already reason. been stored yes. yeah they've been stored uh, <laughs> as a host um, I've put two light cheese out actually <laughs> in a fruit bowl which no one needs yeah I think I'm going to say squirrel because to me they're very playful mm-hmm. and they're, they're quite crafty and, and um, sneaky and mm-hmm. that's bad phrases that people have (laughs) referred to me in the past okay good well good answer do you want to roll again do i yes please be another animal based question (laughs) this is a great game this is so much better than trivial pursuit yeah (laughs) because i'm not very well i'm all right at questions but um this is a lot better yellow yellow Uh oh is it's not animal based it's a cold played one (laughs) it is oh hang on you, okay. look, you can't just look at a question and then decide, no, not for you. Was it really intelligent? <laughs> that was a really intelligent question. And now you've looked at me and gone, just because I'm in a tracksuit He top, can't handle it. He can't handle the intelligence. No, it was because... I it just want you to know that my not... lower half is naked right now. <laughs> and it's making everyone very uncomfortable in here. So this is the year randomizer. It's the history category. Yes. And uh, basically, what were you doing in 1995? That's another good question. Uh, what was I doing in 1995? I was nine years of age. Uh, 1995 I would have been people look at me like what were you doing <laughs> um, I actually uh, did um, a, a um, basically I met Rolf Harris and no. I thought <laughs> oh, now would be a good time to talk about this um, and this is the most the best opportunity I've had and um, no I <laughs> probably was watching Animal Hospital I yeah. really loved that yeah. it was such good fun and uh, and I always tried to guess what it was not the animal obviously yeah. um, you knew what that was um, when I was nine uh, I remember 1995 actually I went to go and watch Southampton at the Dell the football team uh, playing Manchester United uh, that was my 1995 and I was also trying to complete the 1995 Merlin sticker album which on the front cover was black and it had Andy Cole Alan Shearer Eric Cantona and Alan Smith wow yeah so <laughs> that's taking me back so yeah that's what I was doing but that's what we aim to just do in that lad. question just bring the, bring the memories of your life back yeah I might cry now on the day. <laughs> remember the days when stickers just took up everything and you just were so happy and now yeah. look at me just worried about who's stealing pastries <laughs> <laughs> do I get to roll a game one more time one more time okay yeah. three's the magic number alright what other categories are there, Holly? Uh, there's geography, art and literature, entertainment, and sport. <sighs> Come on, sport. What colour sport? Sports orange. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't roll there's, it. There's no cheating going on in this game. It's not really a sport question, this, so I feel like I've cheated you a bit. Hang but... on. No, no, it's just fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> uh, best festival memory, other than this, of course, because I know that's going to be top. <sighs> top. Well, um, I, I used to have a very uh, a cool job for going to festivals. I used to work at Radio 1 mm-hmm. and used to go to uh, all the festivals and go backstage, which is pretty cool, which is just amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 
one of the best ones was watching a band called Two Door Cinema Club on stage, and I'm only saying them, I could have said Katy Perry, but I didn't, I wanted to sound cooler. Uh, <laughs> Two Door Cinema Club were amazing, and what I loved, uh, they just had such an amazing gig, and you know when you've been part of mm. an awesome experience, um, and uh, the, they have an ice pack that goes on the drummer, and I just, that blew my mind, I was like, wow, they have ice packs, because <laughs> they're just an amazing band. Um, so yeah. <laughs> One of those, it's just getting backstage, really, those, those things you don't often get to do at a festival. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Tom Geek. Holly, it's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>